Alright, fine. I'll throw in a hundred thousand to see what happens. Twenty thousand. Stupidity bonus. <laughs> Hey there guys, Winnie here and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising. This looks awkward, why do we have a combo card on screen right off the goddamn bat? Well, that's because, well... So, in between episodes I went to the Yucatan, and as you can see by my money, I've been farming money um, around here. Not by running around, but by actually playing the games. Um, and I found out that... Uh, if you have all the gambling books, I have all three of them now, all three of them right there. Um, what happens is your jackpots are increased on um, on machines as well. So not only do you get um, increased odds of winning, but you also get an increased jackpot when you do win, which is pretty good. Um, so a few minutes ago, we got a call from. Stacy Forsythe, whatever her name is, saying, "Hey, Chuck, you gotta, you gotta help. Um, what's her tits? She can't handle it. She, um, she went to the Shoal Night Club on her own, and that must be where her source is, because that's where she told us her source is, right? So, basically, she says she doesn't think she can handle this uh, whole meeting on her own." So she wants you to go help her out. This is some shitty way of reminding you that, hey, you need to go meet her there. Anyways, as you can see, you get a lot of money pretty fast from uh, playing these Mega Man machines. That is, if you win. I've found bad machines in here that I just cannot win on, and this seems to be one of them. Even with three odds... Three times the odds of winning. I still can't do it. That's some shit. And this... This fucking... Shit. The bonfire. I threw 50,000 in there. It got a pretty hefty sum of experience. Now it's asking me for 100,000. That's ridiculous. Um, the great thing about that is that... Um, I'll take a beer. I need a better weapon though. Um, great thing about it is that uh, it led to me getting a level up, which is pretty cool, I guess. You know, it helps in some cases, and others it does not. The level up that is, it's pretty cool. And that's where you saw that combo card. I don't think we got anything else from it though. Yo, fuck you. Are you sure there's not a better weapon around here that I can take? I'm not talking about the roulette wheel. The roulette wheel is not on my list of things to use. Come on. Now if you are a smarty pants, and you remember what I said last time, you know that this uh, fight we're about to go into is in fact a boss fight. So, that's why I'm looking for uh, better weapons. A sledgehammer I guess works. This is just in case my claws break. I don't think they will, but it's a risk. Good lord. Look at this shit. You expect me to walk through this? You're 
the source? She can't have the man responsible for the outbreak running around free now, can we, Chuck? Especially as he keeps interfering with other people's business. That's bullshit and you know it. TK set me up and you helped. We're just some fellow survivors trying to win big, Chuck. Bring it. We have the twins. Ow. Nice counter attack. Either way, I think this calls for something a little faster for our repertoire. No. Oh. Why are you laughing? Ah. Skimpy bitch, come back. Don't even try it. Don't try it. <sighs> well, there's lots of healing items in here, so don't be afraid to go a little crazy. Lots and lots of beers around. <laughs> I'm not after you, Crystal. I'm after Amber first. Come back. I'll show you my stamina. You're dead, honey. Chopper coming in at sunset. He's getting whatever money he can still get his hands on, and then getting out of the city. Did they say where he's meeting the chopper? No, so we're going to have to watch for it. I'll meet you on the rooftop above the bunker at 8 o'clock. I'll be there. Ooh. 
Ooh boy. Wow. Fucking music in my ears. Right in my ear holes. Katana swords. Oh yeah. It's like the first time we actually see useful psychopath weapons. Just because they're fast. Oh. Not a lot of experience, though. All right. Fun times. Anyway. Uh, now what? Well, we do have mail order Zombrex, which we got. Um, which is a uh, kind of a. I don't know why I say kind of. It's a boss fight. Don't ask me why I'm still playing this. I don't know. Can't pass up the good money. Throw in a hundred thousand to see what happens. Twenty thousand. Stupidity bonus. <laughs> Did you see that? That's awesome. Oh man, that's funny. Stupidity bonus. Good on you, Dead Rising uh, creators. At least you know. <laughs> You know how stupid that is to burn that much money. Uh, mail order Zombrex, where is this guy? It's in Royal Flush Plaza. Someone is driving a postal cart around the Royal Flush Plaza. There might be Zombrex in one of those packages. Yeah, might is a strong ass word. Either way, I guess we're heading out. to the food court. But yeah, uh, interesting times. Uh, that's, in my opinion, one of the easiest bosses in the game. Just because you're surrounded by so many healing items, and you really just need an okay weapon to go into it, and even then, it's two bosses, but you only have to kill one of them. If you kill the other one, it's the same exact cutscene, but, you know, reversed. Either way. It's a, it's a fairly easy boss, so it's not worth uh, going super in-depth on talking about. Sure, I would take a vodka. Always carry a healing item on you at all times, especially when you're about to go up against a boss. I don't remember what exactly we get out of this boss though, but we'll figure it out when we get there. Speaking of, I'm pretty sure there's an actual, uh, my phone going off again. Twitter. Um, pretty sure there's some unmarked survivors that, uh, I talked about at the beginning of this LP who now appeared in the Atlantica. It's the ones that you have to beat in poker before they actually come with you. But, um, thankfully we have the three gambling books. And the three gambling books help tremendously in taking those guys. Which, uh, which is one of the better parts about um, this run, in my opinion, that we got going right now. In fact, we got so many supplies right now. Get 1,500 out of those, wow. I'm wondering how much I get out of the slot machine that's in the, uh, that's actually in the safe room. I wonder how much I get out of that. There's a distinct lack of zombies around here. I wonder why that is. <laughs> You're supposed to be wondering that when you walk up to here. And then you'll realize, oh.
monitor is required for delivery! Hey, buddy. I don't think there's anyone there. <sighs> Sir. Maybe you can sign for this. What? Special delivery, signature required. I have rounds to do and I'm behind! You do know there's a zombie outbreak going on. Neither rain, nor sleet, nor hail, nor zombies are going to keep me from my appointed rounds. I swore an oath, sir, and this package requires a signature! Whatever, buddy, if it makes you feel better. I could use that anyway. You're Chuck Green. You stop! Actually, I have been looking for you. This package is a very special delivery. Just for you. <laughs> have a nice day. Here we have the postman, Carl. He's kind of clumsy when it comes to using the shotgun. That's going to be your biggest uh, way of exploiting him. Second one is he doesn't do much damage to you when he's actually uh, close up to you. <sighs> Holy cow, that was so close. I almost died. So he's not that accurate with it, but he can be pretty lethal with it if he gets you in all three of his um, all three of his rounds that he shoots off. Ugh. That had to hit me right in the fucking face, didn't it? At least there's some healing in here. Oh, holy crap, an orange juice. Hell yeah. Alright, where are you? Gotcha. Zombrex. And he gives you a shotgun, which isn't that special. Oh, 
Um, either way, we're out of cases again. Nothing really to do. So, I guess we will end this episode here. Uh, pretty short episode, you know, just their usual 20 minutes, but hey, you know, we got a lot done. Got through two bosses, actually. I'm surprised we didn't level up from that guy. Well, then again, never mind. We just got a level at the start of this episode, so... Two psychopath battles don't really total up to a level, now, do they? Oh, hello. I'm on to you, Chuck. First you tricked me out of my workers' compensation, then I find out you're the one behind this whole deal. Whoa, buddy, wait just a damn minute here. Yeah, Mr. Tough Guy, Mr. Terror is not so tough when the citizens confront you for justice, are you? Stuart, listen to me. I'm trying to find out who's behind this horrible tragedy myself. I'm on your side. Just tell me why you did it, Chuck. You've got the guts. Why you destroyed all our lives by letting those zombies loose. I had nothing to do with this. I know they're saying I did this on TV, but I'm being framed. Sure, sure you are. And I'm an elderly grandmother from Hoboken who enjoys going to gay bars. You can't pull wool over my eyes. Is that why you're looking at your looting your employer's casino? Um, you're changing the subject, Chuck. Listen, why the hell would I go around helping people like you if my real goal is to kill everyone? Why would I stick around? Uh, maybe you're just that sick and twisted? They pinned it on me because I was there, but I know what it's like to lose someone to a zombie outbreak. I never wish that on anyone. Okay, okay, calm down, Chuck. I'm going to find out who did this for real because they are not getting away with it. Sure, Chuck. Look, man, I'm sorry. I just got a little excited sometimes. Again, sorry. Yeah, I still know... No, you you thought. Now if you're done wasting my time, I still have to fix this mess. Huh. That was like an unspoken mutiny. <laughs> I didn't have a case for that. Alright. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Dead Rising 2. I'll see you next time. We and you. Bye-bye. Damn right.